So why are these earrings making me bleed? How could something designed by Louis Cartier in 1924 that symbolizes love, friendship, and fidelity create a bloodbath? Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Evelyn, and I love to share things that have impacted my life in a positive way. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button and let's get started. So let me present to you my Cartier Trinity earring. I have one in the box and I am wearing one right now. So let me just wind back. I actually wore these earrings two days ago um, to show how they affect my ear and make them red and inflamed. So I'll clip that video footage here for you to check it out. So for your sake on YouTube, I'm going to wear these earrings again today and test out whether my ears bleed after don't know how many hours. 12 o'clock and I'll wear this for a few hours and see what happens. Okay, so a little bit of fact about the earring before I tell you my full story. These earrings were actually designed by Louis Cartier himself in 1924. It's the famous Trinity design. Uh, I have the earrings and I also have the ring that I'm wearing right now. So the Trinity design is based on three intertwined bands of different gold metals, namely rose gold, or they call it pink gold, uh, white gold, and yellow gold. And these three bands signify love, friendship, fidelity, or whatever you want it to signify in your own life. So for me, it's supposed to be a keepsake that I will actually collect and pass down for generations to come. So the earrings I'm wearing now actually come in two sizes. The one that I have on now is actually the bigger size. And let me just give you some facts and figures. 3.3 millimeter width and 13.2 millimeter inner diameter. It has an Omega clip clasp, which you will find with jewelry pieces that are generally a little heavier or a little bigger. So it helps it balance on your earlobe uh, properly. And the price is 2,770 US dollars today. There is a smaller version and it has an inner diameter of 10 millimeters. The design is narrower in width, um, but the Cartier website did not share the actual dimensions of that earring. Um, and it's with a friction post clutch back. So um, I believe you need to sort of squeeze the, the backing to uh, release the backing of the earring. And the retail price today is $1,510. And there is another Trinity earring design, uh, but it's set with one brilliant cut diamond around 0.08 carats uh, with an inner diameter of 7.3 millimeters. And the retail price is $2,390. And I believe you can remove the posts from the earring. So um, the one that I have here is quite short. It's around five millimeters, half a centimeter. And I remember my essay telling me that you can actually have them changed out for longer posts if necessary. Okay, so let me tell you my, my bloodbath story. I got these earrings in 2020 um, and I was wearing them fine. You know, I would put them on on both ears. Um, I noticed the weight was a little heavy, so it would sort of um, weigh on my earlobes a little bit, um, and, but then it didn't create any problem. I guess I didn't wear them long enough and I would take them off maybe after a few hours of wear. So last summer, I traveled to London and I brought my earrings with me and I wore it for the whole day from morning till evening. So I would say probably around 10 hours uh, worth of wear. And um, I noticed by the end of the day, my earlobes were feeling a quite warm and um, a bit, I could feel like this burning or tingling itchy sensation around my earrings. Um, but since I was visiting relatives, I didn't want to remove my earrings, so I just left them in. And when I got home and took them off, both my earlobes were bloody. Literally, there was blood seeping in the front and in the back of the ear. Um, I did not take videos or photos of it, but it was quite a shock. And because of that, my ears became very sensitive. And every time I tried to wear my earrings, because of the piercing area was quite raw, um, it was, um, it became a problem for me to wear earrings. 
And as a result, I stopped wearing them and I think scar tissue grew. And now this one year is closed off. I, I, I can put the earring maybe halfway through and the back of my ear is sealed. So I'm going to have to re-pierce that this year to, to get my earrings back in my ears again. Um, it's a little bit crazy, but uh, it is what it is. I can't put earrings here and I can still wear earrings here, but um, I wore these um, and you'll see in my clip here. It is now officially 9.06 in the evening. So I have worn my earrings for nine hours and I'm gonna take them off now and let's see what the situation is. I do feel a little, it's, there's irritation in the, in the post where my, the post is contacting my ear and uh, it's a little bit red. Don't know if you can see it. It also feels warm to touch. So let's, let's zoom in and take a look. And then I'm gonna take it off, oops. Okay, so you can see there's a marking on my ear lobe. It's quite red and you can see the pressure of the earring on the skin. And um, thankfully it is not bleeding this time, but you can see if I were to wear it for maybe a few more hours, say maybe 12 hours, which is quite possible that um, it could probably start to bleed. So you can see that they have been irritated still and um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe I am allergic to gold all of a sudden. Normally my ears are not allergic to gold. And I have a theory is that the omega clasps behind these earrings are quite tight and they sort of clamp onto my earlobes really tightly. And I think the, the pressure of the clasp on my skin and just pushing onto it is um, maybe generating some blood flow issue or there's something going on and I'm getting infections. I'm, I'm bleeding. So please share with me in the comments below if you have similar experiences, any remedies that you recommend me trying, I really appreciate it. Um, it's just a pity that I can't wear these earrings now because of the clasp maybe at most for an hour or two, and I think I will have to remove them. And the sad thing is, you know, all the really nice uh, designed earrings, like the Van Cleef earrings, the Alhambra design also, uh, the bigger design also comes with this kind of a clip clasp. Um, so it's unfortunate because it's just creating too much pressure on my ears. Another complaint I have with this earring is you can see that the design of the bands, there are little like crevices there are crevices in this area. And so it, dirt and fingerprint markings can get onto it and it may be hard to clean. I would definitely recommend using an ultrasonic cleaner to take care of the cleaning of the different areas of this earring. And another complaint I have with this earring is dirt tends to gather on the back of the posting, on, on the back of the post. So it's kind of also hard to clean. Um, uh, so that's also another gripe I have. But really my main gripe is, look how little room there is from the back of the earring to the clasp. It's really squeezing your earlobe in this area. So this is really creating a lot of pressure on the earlobe and probably that's the reason why it's giving me that much irritation. So looking back and all the designs that Cartier has for the Trinity earrings, they also have much higher end, much more expensive designs with a lot more diamonds on them. I would actually have preferred to have purchased the one with the diamond setting because uh, it's with a traditional friction clutch post, which is probably better suited for my ears. And I think that the design with the, the diamond in the center with the trinity in the bottom is quite pretty um, and it stands out um, on the ear. Diamond actually catches a lot, a lot of light and you know brings that sparkle to the earring. So that's also very nice. And the other thing is there are some dupes or copies imitation of the trinity design with a lot of the hoop earrings. So you could say that um, this trinity design earring is not really that unique because there are a lot of hoop designs that are very similar. So the question is, would I buy these earrings again? And I think the obvious answer is sadly no 
because of the situation my ears are having um, with the clasp tension being so tight and also the fact that there you know you get finger markings prints dirt on the earring easily um, and I think uh, for the price I'm not really enjoying these earrings as much so please comment below if you have any earrings that you love or you've had a similar experience or if you have any recommendations for me I'd love to hear from you thank you again for watching and I'll see you again in my next video bye now